Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And it's a windy, rainy winter day outside. And so it's a great day to do some work with cast bullets. And so what you're looking at here is the famous RCBS Lubomatic 2 Sizer Lubricator press machine that's used to lube cast bullets in the traditional way. We're not talking about powder coating here, we're talking about using lube. There are no videos out there on how do you reload new lube in this machine when you run out of lube. So let's go ahead and do that in this video. So when you're going to add more lube or change lubes, it's a great time to spruce your press up a little bit. And no better way to do that than to use some of your Ed's Red. And it's so inexpensive that you can use a lot of it and use it freely and this kind of thing. We really like Ed's Red for this. You find lots of uses for Ed's Red. So go ahead and clean your press up. Just get rid of the excess lube. You're not going to have to get this thing showroom new. But you see, there's always lots of lube on your press. So it gets a good chance to clean it up a bit and then re-lube it. Get that lube to lube. So put a little bit of 3-in-1 oil on this ram here and on some of these other parts that get some wear. So here we are, some nice 3-in-1 oil. Just add it there. You don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. Get that going real well. Add a little oil to your little linkage here and get that going real well. Also a good time to tighten up your handle because this handle comes loose. So we tighten it up, wipe off the excess oil and we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and add some lube. Well, by the way, whenever we add lube to any of our sizer lubricators, whether it be the RCBS or the Lyman or the Seiko or the Star Machine, you have to make a decision and that is, do you want to use the same lube you have in there or do you want to change lubes? Now, that's a good time to change lubes if you want to. So I have an assortment of lubes here and some of our commercial lubes are like, for instance, Orange Magic. If you're going to shoot an indoor range, you don't want Allox. So the Orange Magic is great for indoor ranges. Then we have Lyman Super Molly. For those of you who like molly coated lubes or molly lubes. These work real well. A little smoky though, but fine. And then of course, the trusty NRA formula. 50% beeswax, 50% Alox. Great for outdoor shooting and bullseye shooting. And then I have here colloidal graphite lube. This is not molly, this is graphite. Different kind of lube, but it works well also. Then, of course, you know I have my homemade lube. And I keep these underneath plastic and they're cut into these little squares that actually break up. So I can just add that to my side of the lubricator. Or I can go ahead and melt some of it and pour it in. But a good way to cut our, our lubes, like for instance, here's my cake of lube. I've got a video on how to make this, and I like this lube. But all you got to do is take your Glock knife, it's really a nice way to go, and just put it on a hard surface like this, and just push down on it, and it cuts like butter. I'll show you that. Hard with the camera in the way. Let's see. Just put some weight on that and it cuts like butter. Plus our Glock field knife cleans up real well with Ed's Red. See that? Look at that. Glock field knife is a very handy knife. Very useful. And they're only like $29 in different colors and this kind of thing. We won't talk about this because there are other videos on the Glock knife, but this thing is really rugged. Comes with a nice scabbard for your belt. Great for hiking. I like to classify my lubes as according to hard lube and soft lube. The hard lubes, like the Orange Magic, require a heater, like this heater here, to run in your presses. Whereas the soft lubes, like the 
like the airlocks and all your mollies, your colloidal graphite, and the homemade lube are all soft lubes that don't require a heater. But if you're gonna be in real hot climates, you want the hard lube. Now some of you would ask out there, when you change lubes, do you have to clean out all the lube that's the old lube that's in here? Well, that's a big job because the lube's in the reservoir and it's also in the connector channel and it's in the, the area here where it's going into the bullets. So to clean all that out is, is just a monster job. I don't recommend you do that. It's a big waste of time. Best thing to do is wait until your reservoir is down and then when you change lubes, go ahead and put the lube of your choice in there and then go ahead and start lubing bullets and sizing bullets. Because what happens is the old lube will, will cycle through and you'll actually see the lube change in your bullets. And when the change is complete, then you just go ahead and get a new container and then you're going to go ahead and process bullets and you'll, you'll get the new one, the new lube. And that's the way to do it. And as for the bullets that have a hybrid lube in there, fine, just use them, just like you're going to use for the old lube. So this is the way to do it. And with lots of cast bullets, that's the way to do it. Now, of course, for those of you out there who really want to change lubes and clean out the old lube, of course, if you want to do that, you can. Because it's your time, it's your effort, by all means, go for it. So because I'm going to be doing some long-range shooting with our silhouette bullets, the uh, 44 cal silhouette bullets 240 grainers i'm going to go ahead and use the lyman allox bullet lube which is the nra formula 50 percent beeswax 50 percent i didn't use my homemade lube this time because i want to do some long range work with that silhouette bullet and i want to use a lube that's more representative of what you would use out there so first thing we do is take off the cap that's on the reservoir and what you want to do is to take the pressure off it by backing out this stem. You gotta raise the little, the little follower in there anyway. So let's go ahead and raise that up by backing the, the pressure screw. We'll just back that out a little bit. Then we need to get a wrench on this cap here and take it off. Now you need a one and a half inch wrench and most of us don't have that. So any kind of parallel jaw type of plier will work. Just be careful that you don't score your metal parts unnecessarily. So here we go. We're just going to go ahead and precisely get a good hold on that. And don't let anything slip because that's where all your scratches happen. So you see now we can use our hand to finish taking that cap off, there it goes. And there you have it. Now we want to go ahead and raise this follower near the top like this. Now if you buy your lube in hollow sticks, once again this is the NRA formula, you can simply put your stick right through there and then cut this tube off. So you can cut the casing and just peel it off like this. Your lube stick is on there, ready to put in. Now, of course, your reservoir may have some lube left in the bottom. So you may have to just cut some of this off. Like it looks like that much. Now one of the advantages of melting your lube and pouring it in is that if you decide that you want to add some liquid allox to your melted mix to sweeten the allox, you can do that. Melt that right in and then pour it in. You got a little extra boost of allox. If By the want. way, if you do the melted lube pour in, you have to melt your lube carefully over low flame so you don't flash your lube. And then when you pour it in, you got to put this thing in pretty quick because you don't want that lube to set or start to harden. It'll make it hard for you to get that stem back in. 
So once you get that stem back in and you get this cap to bite into the threads and tighten it up, you're back in business. So you see, we go ahead and reinsert the stem into the reservoir and then start tightening this down. And then once we can't use our finger anymore, we go back to the wrench and tighten this little cap back down. And we're so there we go. The cap is all the way back down. And now we go ahead and pressurize our follower again in there. There it is. And now we're ready to start doing bullets again. Before I conclude, let me put in a little plug for White Label. White Label is a very fine lube manufacturing company. You can find them online and they make some real good lubes. They have Alox that you can buy in big liter size or quart size bottles for less expensive than Lee. These are fine for small containers, but if you do a lot of, of uh, bullet casting, you can buy it by the quart from White Label. And they have 45, 45, 10 already mixed this kind of thing. And as for lubes like this, they have a real nice one called uh, Carnauba Red, that if you like to use that, uh, that's a very fine lube to use. So you might look into White Label. So shooters and reloaders out there, good bullet lubing to you.